All right, guys, Model Rocks 321 here, back with another video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also hit that thumb up button to help me out in the algorithm so people can find the video. Today we're gonna to do a few launches. I brought out the Little Joe 2. You will see this one flying in a little bit, but right now we have the Drake about to go on an E12 4 motor. Hit that subscribe button. Also use my discount code at Estes. It is on the screen right now. Model Rockets 321. Let's go. All right, we got the Drake going on an E12 4 motor. You can get the key in. All right, going in five, four, three, two, one. There we go, going way up on the E12 4 motor and for a second delay. And we have parachute separation. It's gonna be one of those days. I see the body's coming down, the parachute's coming down. I'm gonna start heading out. You can spot something, keep your eye on something because if you move, it'll disappear. So we have separation. Parachute might get lost. It's way out there. Way out there, drifting. Might get a far walk today. <laughs> <laughs> Parachute might be gone. I don't know if we're gonna get that back. Top section. Yeah, that thing's floating. Yeah. Yeah. All right, body's coming down. Gonna hit the ground. Kind of fluttering around, which is kind of nice. And that touchdown. Parachute with the cone. We'll see. Not a lot of wind up, so might get it back. Yep. Oh yeah, they can get up there. They can get up there pretty good. Oh wow, this is way out there. It might. All right, guys, so we have separation of parachute and nose cone. It's just about to touch down. Not sure if you can see that, but it's heading, heading down. It's going to touch down, kind of in the same area. And there it is. So we got the parachute on the ground, and we got the drake that hit the ground, the lower section. Not sure if there's any damage or not. It kind of fluttered around, so pretty good. No real damage. It hauled pretty good. Nice, no damage. Real good. Alright, so there we go guys. We had separation, shot cord snapped, old shot gore. I'm switching to all Kevlar. Use Kevlar guys. Use Kevlar whenever you can. If you're going to use elastic, put a piece of Kevlar on there with it. And my rocks 3, 2, 1. All right, guys, next up we have the Little Joe 2, the Apollo Little Joe 2, the 145th scale one going on an E26-4. And we will see how it goes. Model Rock 3, 2, 1. There we go. Range is clear, sky is clear. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Present. There it go. There it go. And parachute right over us nice smoke in the sky we are coming down real nice hanging up there real good perfect flight Apollo little Joe 2 Apollo little Joe 2 coming on down coming on down check her out coming down Everything's heading over this way today. Nice launch on that composite. Should be touching down. Same place for my Omega. Subscribe to the channel, guys. And touching down right there for a beautiful slow landing. Nice. Nice touchdown. All right, guys, so here we go. The little Joe 2 is on the ground. Everything looks good. Motor's still in there. Yeah, the motor went really nice. Went really nice. Everything's intact. Perfect. Came down nice and slow. Parachute. Everything's there. So we are good to go. My Rock 321. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, guys. Next up, we got the Fire Arrow. We built this 1985 rocket recently. The decal got messed up, so I had to do my own thing at the top and add that silver. 
but should be a good flight. About to go up on a B64. Let's check it out. Sure to hit that subscribe button. We are ready to go. Let's get this going. Fire arrow. Going in five, four, three, two, one. There he is. And tracking smoke parachute open and coming down right over us. Nice flight, close to the rain, twisting, turning, doing all that fun stuff by coming on down. All right, hopefully you guys are seeing this. I'm not sure my camera's acting weird today. Heading down, twisting, twisting, coming down behind this tree. And touch down, there we go, the fire arrow. Guys, here we go. The fire arrow went up there pretty good on the B64 motor. Everything was nice. Perfect, perfect flight for that. Low and slow. Did a little twisting and turning on the way down. But cool. It's Model Rocks 321. Remember, guys, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Use my discount code at Estes. And you can stack discounts. So if there's a sale going on, use my code to get more off. It's Model Rocks 321. So guys, my Rock 321. Hey, the nose cone actually came off, but here it is. I found it, got extremely lucky. Oh, it broke right through that vintage 1985 plastic. You can see right there, there's a break. And it broke, so luckily I found it. That can be fixed. Old plastics, they get brittle and they break. So if you get an old rocket and you're gonna fly it, it's very be very secure in your methods because this is almost lost for good, but I got lucky. Fire arrow will fly again with its own nose cone, which is easily replaceable nose cone. It's kind of common, but found it. All right, so next up we have the Wu-Tang rocket about to go again. Launched this a good while ago. It's time to get it back up on the F-23 4FJ. Should be a nice flight. Look for all that black, white, black smoke. And about to go. All right, here we go. Range is clear. Sky is clear. Going in five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Straight up above us. Smoke. Ooh, a lot of smoke and parachute. Everything good? Yeah, we are good. We got parachute right above us coming down nice and slow. That is a textbook launch. Textbook. Perfect. Coming down nice and slow. We are good, folks. We are good. The key's in there. <laughs> coming down, coming down. The Wu-Tang rocket. Perfect launch. This was a Red Max, but I flipped it into the Wu-Tang rocket. Coming down over the range. Perfect launch on an F4J motor. And it's going to hit. And there we go. Touchdown. That is how it's done. Perfect launch. My Rocks 321, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumb up. Nice flight, a lot of smoke. Nice smoke on that FJ motor. Get yourself some FJ motors. And here we have it. All right guys, My Rocks 321 still here. We got the last flight of the day. It will be the pipsqueak. Tiny little rocket going on a C67. It's the small one, but it's not the smallest of them, but it's a small one. Should get up there pretty good. Seven second delay, so look for that smoke. And we're gonna go. Our right, Rock 321 going in. Five, four, three, two, one. There it go, way up there. Seven second delay, you'll see some smoke. There it is. And streamer. And here we come, coming down. Coming down. You wanna stop that record for me? On the phone? Thank you, sir. Way up there, that could have hit 2,000 feet. Streamer's doing his job. Bringing the pipsqueak home. Hopefully it's all together, nose cone and everything because, yeah, it's out there. Look at that. Coming on home. Hopefully you guys are seeing this because Camera's acting kind of weird today. I'm sorry. Let me go back up. Oh, here we go. 
camera's being kind of weird today. Coming down on that streamer, way out here. Well, wow, that's a nice streamer duration. If there's a competition, this would be, I don't know. I think it would've been okay. Nice long streamer, a little color in it. And it just touched down back there. So if I go straight, I won't miss it. It's my Rock321 guys. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you guys, drop a comment. Use that discount code, get some engines. Estes has a ton of stuff on the site now. I noticed they have like build supplies. They got paint now. I was just going through there the other day like, wow. They are doing their thing. It's my Rock321. Let's get this pipsqueak. And here we go, guys. We got the pipsqueak here. All intact, C67 did his job. Nice long delay. You see that trailing smoke, keep your eye on it. Here it is, it's home. With my multicolored homemade streamer. That's what you want for these. Brought it back nice and gentle, yep. Still hot too, oh, just these are always hot, I always remember. I haven't flown this for a long time, you still feel that. But perfect, perfect flight. Perfect flight. Say what's up, Nick. What's up? <laughs> that was an awesome flight. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pipsqueak. Um, th these that's good. These are pretty good for you know competition flying or just fun stuff like that. Get yeah, there pretty high. Pretty impressive. I didn't think it was that long. Oh yeah, yeah. You want to make them long so you can see it for one thing, and you want to slow it down. That's why you put them ridges in there. Yeah. You know, just to break that. It's like Chris drag. Yeah. Yep. So very good, very good. Pipsqueak. Nice little quest kit. These are by Quest. I don't think these are made anymore. But this is easy to scratch building by you can build these simple parts. Three fins, nose cone, launch lug, launch hook. So there we have it. All good, yes, everything worked out. So you got that. Yeah. yeah, that was the highest flight of the day. Yeah. Yeah, that probably that could have hit that 2,000 feet mark um, easily. At least 1,500. It was definitely up there pretty good. It was up there pretty good. Model Rocks 321. All right, so you just witnessed five flights one two three four yes five flights i was preparing for six but i didn't get to fly my black brand x because the altitude that i was going to go in the direction of the wind i just decided not to fly it because i was going to run an altimeter and i don't want to risk losing that but you saw these five started out with the drake on an e12 motor went pretty good had that separation here's a drake right here everything's all good this is just some old paint chipping Fluid on this E12 right here, E12 floor four. Really nice flight of the Drake. Had that separation on um, this old, I'm gonna replace this shock cord like as soon as possible. Cause you can see here where it snapped, um, just a bad deal. Old, it's kind of dry rotted from getting burned and charred. But got everything back, it landed, just landed another probably 50 yards away from the main body, which the main body fluttered around, it survived, it hit. Um, hit the ground, it was just flipping around, so I guess that drag it created slowed it down enough where no damage could happen. And I could see the other piece of the shock cord here, just, it just snapped. So I'm going to be replacing that. Overall, a good flight. It was a really nice flight of the Drake on that E12 motor. I, I still like the E12 motors. I know they had their issues some years ago, but they seem to be all good now. And that was the first flight of the day. I followed that flight up with the... Little Joe 2, my Apollo all-time favorite rocket. The Little Joe 2 performed. It was great. I flew it on one of the E26 4Ws. These are White Lightning, the composite motors by QJet. Nice motors, nice motors. Um, great, great flight. No damage, nice big parachute, recovered well. Perfect textbook flight. Kind of arched over a little bit. Wasn't like perfect straight, but it was a nice flight. Very nice flight of the Apollo Little Joe 2, one of my all-time favorites, or my all-time favorite. After that, I went with the, I can't remember, did I go with the Wu-Tang or did I go with the Fire Arrow? I know I say the Piss Week for last. I think it was the Wu-Tang, the converted, the Red Max. Again, another great, great flight. I flew down another composite motor on an F23 4F, FJ. Great motor, all that city black smoke went really great. I like what they did here with this little retention. You just screw it in, drop the motor in, screw it in, and hold it in place. Great flight on this. I did notice one thing. I loosened. I had to fix these fins a while ago. They had a squeak from when I first built it. There is a little. It hit this fin when it landed. There is a little. I don't know if you can see that little crack right there. I'm, so I'm gonna just line this with epoxy again. It's getting that really worn out old look, but that's okay. 
Wu Tang Clan is a rugged hip hop group. You can check out their series on Netflix called American Saga. <laughs> it's a free plug for the Wu Tang Clan. But anyway, this um this rocket right here, yeah, it flew great. Flew great. I'm just gonna line this with some more epoxy and get this nice and strong. This one is great, but great, great flight. Seemed like it could use a bigger parachute. It was coming down pretty fast, but other than that, great flight. Then I went with the fire arrow on a B64, I believe it was. Was it a B64? Was I correct about that motor? Yes, a B64. I was right. Flew it on a B6 floor, great flight, flew really well, but it had some separation. And I can see this plastic, as I showed you already, this plastic just snapped. This old plastic, it snapped right there. As it fired an ejection charge, it broke right to Kevlar. I used Kevlar on this one, no elastic. It was attached right here, this ring. And it snapped, it, that ring cut right through this plastic. So you would be surprised the power of this stuff sometimes. But when it shot that ejection charge off there, it snapped it. Got it all back. I'm glad when I recovered it initially, I didn't see it. The, pair, the nose cone was missing. I was just looking at the rocket. Like, okay, it went great. Next thing you know, wait a minute, the nose cone was missing. But not far from it, maybe another 25 feet was the nose cone sitting on the ground. So we still got the fire arrow. This 1985 old, old rocket. Flew well. Great flyer. So that's that. And last but definitely not least, <laughs> I flew the little pipsqueak. Finally brought this old Quest kit back out on a C67 with a long streamer. It hauled off the pad, really great flight on that C67. Got that long delay so you can see that nice tracking smoke. It probably went a good 1,500 to 2,000 feet. It was up there. It was up there pretty good. I mean, it flew really well. Streamers back in there and it was a perfect flight. Perfect. Landed on the ground, landed, went, recovered it. Great day out at the field. Um, if you're new here, Model Rocks 321, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, hit that like button. Use the Estes code that should be on the screen right now. Use that code. If you buy anything, get some model rocket, get some engines, parts, whatever. Use my coupon code. Use the discount. Take advantage of this. Use it. And stack it with some others. If something's on sale, put that on top of there. I believe it works. I believe it works. They're generous like that. So don't miss out on that deal. Get yourself a nice deal. And this was a great day of flying. This is Model Rocks 321. Check the future videos coming. I'm restoring my Little Joe 2 right now. Well, I purchased the old Little Joe 2. Restoring that right now. That video should be coming up once it's all done. This has been Model Rocks 321. See you on another video.